The DDNS Keys implementation is a two-part process. This video will cover a general overview of both parts from start to finish. Part 1 is how to generate the DDNS Keys. Part 2 is configuring dynamic DNS to use the DDNS Keys you just generated. After we've finished going over the implementation process, we'll include some helpful tips on managing your DDNS Keys moving forward. Before you start part one of this process, make sure you are on site and have access to the update client. To utilize your DDNS key, you'll need to add it to the device. If you create a DDNS key and are not on site to update the credentials in the device, your updater could stop working. So let's get into what you need to do to generate DDNS keys. Follow the steps in the window to generate your DDNS key. Here, you can create a new host name while generating the DDNS key. On the next window, click Generate DDNS Key. This will create the DDNS key and bring you to the DDNS Key Setup modal. Process is similar for generating a DDNS key on an existing hostname. This information is required to configure DDNS keys and it's your only chance to copy or save the DDNS key password. Please note that these passwords cannot be recovered. If you lose it, you must generate another one. We are now halfway through the DDNS key process. Now that the key is created, you can begin part two of the process and configure dynamic DNS using the key you just created. To configure dynamic DNS using the DDNS key you just created, you can use one of two different setups. You can either download our dynamic update client on a computer at the network, or you can configure dynamic DNS on a device that supports no IP, such as a router, DVR, or security camera. An important note is that both configurations require you to have access to a device that physically exists on the network you are wanting to access remotely. So first, let's take a look at how to set up your DDNS key on a computer with RDUC. You can download and install our client on either Windows, Linux, or Mac. First, navigate to the Dynamic DNS tab on the left. Then, select Dynamic Update Client from the drop-down menu. Click on the Download button, and from there you can install the program. Next up, how to configure Dynamic DNS on a device such as a router or a security camera. Log into the device. The manufacturer of your device should have instructions on how to do so. If you can't find it, Check out our Configuring Dynamic DNS on a Router Guide for some common suggestions. Once you are logged in, search for the Dynamic DNS or DDNS settings. This is typically found under the Advanced Options menu. Here's an example of configuring DDNS keys on an ASUS router. Most routers should have a similar setup. The DDNS settings may look different depending on what device is being configured but the following information will be requested. Make sure to select No IP as your provider and add your DDNS key information in the designated fields. When finished, confirm these settings. A good way to test DDNS is working is by manually editing your host name on your No IP account to something like 1.2.3.4. That way, a DDNS update is forced by your router. If you need help, you can always consult our website or your user manual for more detailed instructions. If your goal is to establish a remote connection to a device or a website, you will need to configure port forwarding. We have some guides on that. Please note, our customer service team will not be able to configure port forwarding on your router for liability reasons. Here are some examples of the popular router manufacturer's interfaces. Be aware your router may display a different interface. If you have any questions or are unsure what to do, we recommend finding a guide that provides more information. Now that your DDNS key has been set up, here are some notes for managing your DDNS keys. From this page, click on the Actions button, which will give you some options to edit your DDNS key. DDNS keys can be managed from the Groups slash DDNS Keys page. If you ever need to revisit your configuration, you can always head back to this page. And there you have it. 
That's the process for implementing and configuring no IPs, DDNS keys.